Peggy 18. Pirates were some of the first people in the 18th century to throw off the influence of kings and monarchs and live according to their own set of laws. And in Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, we've worked really hard to bring you that pirate lifestyle, that, that pirate loop, if you will. In the environment design, we really try to push uh, level design and level art to the next level to have a lot of stealth opportunities. So give many options to the player. We don't want to create a linear game. It's really something open could be into natural environments like the jungles, but also plantations, uh, fishermen village, uh, cities. We try to have very different options to reach the same targets. Plantations are one of my favorite new additions to Assassin's Creed 4. They're scattered all over the world, sometimes in cities and sometimes on the uh, open world map. And they offer an opportunity to use either stealth or combat. The cities in Assassin's Creed 4 are incredibly diverse. Havana is this beautiful, bustling metropolis, one of the biggest cities in the New World at the time. It's very European in flavor, very sunny, very warm. Kingston is more like a young British colony, so we have a different kind of architecture, but the landscape is very different, it's very lush. Uh, we have beautiful mountains in the background, so we have a very strong difference between the different locations of the game. Attacking a ship is one of our big new systems in the game. You might have to accomplish any number of a few small goals in order to call the ship yours. And once the ship is yours, then you get to choose whether you want to keep that ship and send it to your fleet, press some of its crew into your service, or just sink it and gain a little bit of notoriety to bring bigger prey after you. Underwater exploration is another big component of Assassin's Creed 4. The, uh, the underwater areas are mostly centered around sunken ships or sunken treasures of some kind, and they have quite a lot of uh, interesting gameplay in them. What I like in that game is diversity, is the, the contrast we have between the different time of days and between the different locations of the game because each city has its different flavor. Each forest and jungle have a different kind of landmark, natural landmark. So what I like is really the diversity we managed to create in that game.